The Newport Aquarium showcases thousands of animals from across the world in millions of gallons of water. We're about to meet some of their penguins close up, and who knows, we might even get to touch a shark. Newport Aquarium draws uh, extraordinarily well from this region. Um, we're one of the great aquariums, certainly in the Midwest. Uh, so literally, we're getting people all over from Michigan, from Indiana, from Ohio, all over the state of Kentucky, uh, and parts even east, uh, West Virginia and beyond. And in the next one, I need you guys to look terrified. So hands up, Allison. Ah! People do it. All right, three. Right now we're in uh, Surrounded by Sharks, uh, one of our, definitely one of our best exhibits here. This is uh, toward the end of the experience at the aquarium. And as the, the name implies, uh, Surrounded by Sharks is our shark exhibit. This is a chance to actually walk through these acrylic tunnels and literally be surrounded by sharks and the other fish that we have here in the tank. Uh, it's a 380,000 gallon tank and uh, we got uh, a variety of sharks. In fact, we have about, uh, I think, uh, about 20 animal, 20 shark animals in the, in the exhibit, as well as a bunch of other ones, uh, including uh, our two stars, uh, Sweet Pea and Scooter. And as if on cue, there goes Sweet Pea. Uh, Sweet Pea and Scooter are shark rays. Um, they're definitely an interesting species. They got the name, obviously, because they look, uh, the front of them look like rays and the back of them look like sharks. Um, they are extremely rare animals. Sweet Pea was the first shark ray ever on display in this country, in this hemisphere. Um, and uh, so we got her about six years ago, and a few years ago we added Scooter. The hope is that eventually they'll start to notice each other and maybe we'll have a little Sweet Peas and Scooter swimming around in here soon. This is our, our jellyfish gallery. Um, it is uh, a chance to display definitely some of the uh, some of the more mysterious and, and frankly um, beautiful creatures that we have uh, in the entire aquarium. The way that the exhibit is designed is almost as an art gallery. We wanted the feel of the art gallery because quite frankly uh, we view these creatures as, as basically living art. If people meet penguins and spend a little bit of time with the penguins, immediately they want to find out what can they do to make sure that they survive. A lot of the penguin species that we have on display are endangered um, or threatened. So as much as we can raise awareness for that, it's going to help in the future. Dependent on season. During the winter months, and this we're going into their, um, in, actually going into their spring, we try to maintain about 34 to 36 degrees. Then during their winter, which is our summer, the temperatures just go up a little bit into the upper 30s. <clears throat> but there's always a change in temperature uh, just to kind of recreate their environment. We do it also with the lighting. The lights are changed throughout the year. We change foods seasonally. So we really create their environment to make them really comfortable in here. Since we have so much elevation in this exhibit, um, we needed to do something with the aerial part of, of this uh, exhibit. And so with the Inca turns, they'll fly in and it creates the whole environment now where you, not, you, you just don't see penguins, you also see the other coastal or the other seabirds that come into the area. It takes an entire army of aquarium staff uh, to keep not, not only this tank, but obviously the entire aquarium up and running and all of these animals healthy and well fed. Uh, there are a team of chemists who all they do all day are take water samples to make sure that every single tank is exactly the oxygen and acidity level it needs to be. Uh, we have a team of, uh, of veterinary staff who make sure all the animals are healthy and they have to be pretty amazing at a bunch of different species.
Let's see, we saw the sharks and we saw the frogs. The frog and the big snake and birds and we've seen almost everything except the penguins. It's very well done. They have a lot of animals to see, very kid friendly. So we really enjoy it. We get some pretty fantastic letters, especially from the kids, which is the best because they'll literally write the letters to the animals, uh, which you know I'll give to our biologists, and I'm not sure if they read them to them or not. But uh, they, it's amazing the connection, especially the kids make with animals. Uh, they, they, we name some of them, uh, some of the animals, uh, Sweet Pea and Scooter, for instance, Denver, the sea turtle who's swimming around in here. So just by giving them that name, it gives them that extra little personality, and people really kind of. Uh, they, they, they jump to that and they really kind of uh, grab onto it and, it and it makes it a lot of fun. The, th the whole thing for us is that makes the connection. So now that kid is interested in maybe uh, conservation and, and water pollution and they want to do everything that they can in their world to make sure that the animals that they've now met are going to be healthy and happy the rest of their lives. Port Aquarium's mission statement. It is to advocate and to conserve. So we want to make sure that people uh, become advocates for these amazing animals and, and for aquatic wildlife. Um, and not just here, but throughout the, throughout the world.